So I'm uh, Wendy Harcourt. I'm an associate professor at the Institute of Social Studies in The Hague. Um, I joined there two years ago. Earlier on, I was working at the Society for International Development as editor of their journal and director of programs. So in that sense, I've been to forums like this one for many years. Uh, I think that um, the Dutch have a very important role to play in keeping gender and sexual reproductive rights and really critical concerns of development on the Dutch agenda, first of all, but also on the global agenda. So I think it's a very timely forum because of what's coming up now with uh, 2015 and review of the Millennium Development Goals and also looking forward to what is the development agenda going to be. I, I think my point was on, on the one hand, um, Western global capitalism has been dominating for a long time. Um, and in that sense, neoliberalism is just one particular phase. Um, and in that sense, there's not, it's not new. I mean, it's these sorts of crises have been going on. What is, I think, the crises are deepening. So inequalities are deepening. The environmental crisis, we just can no longer avoid it. Um, the whole concerns of sort of global capital moving and then the problems of mobility of people, th those sorts of issues are now, as I think Maitri was saying most of all, are really preventing us from being able to um, move into real gender equality and to recognise women's rights. So in that sense, we have to recognise there are major uh, problems to deal, to deal with, but it's also our way of thinking about it has to change because in the same way that... Um, these crises have thrown up possibilities of us to rethink new imaginaries. So my talk was really trying to look at what are some of these new imaginaries that have come out of particularly transnational feminist movements and knowledge building. So not looking at the sort of old development paradigms, but more looking at the fault lines of where capitalism is throwing up possibilities, opportunities, and where people are surviving. So I was trying to raise, you know, how do we take on board these sorts of messy realities, um, not being afraid of them, not trying to put everything into neat silos, neat boxes, neat measurements, but actually say this is a reality that we're living through, so let's think that through, including, for example, that we're not just talking about women, we're also talking about men and people in between, people who don't recognise themselves as men or as women. We're putting everybody into a very heteronormative um, uh, sphere, but also that we're needing to think about intersectionalities as well. So trying to make recognize our complex world and deal with it. So my, that was a challenge for me. Neoliberalism does tend to make everything individualism. I, I wasn't saying that, but I'm more saying all of these power relations do connect and we have to look at those and not be afraid of finding new framings for doing it. So I was trying to suggest some of the new framings.